Yay, big slack. Today we are installing a big slack off-road hidden winch mount for generation three Tacoma. Once you unbox your winch mount, this is what it looks like with a bag of bolts. I know the idea of taking the entire front end off your truck and then putting it back on sounds complicated. I assure you it's not. It's actually relatively simple and it goes back on pretty easy. And for anybody wondering, all these cute little dots everywhere, these are a part of the metrology grade 3D scanner that we use to help scan everything in so we can design these parts. I'm gonna be scraping these all off after we're done with this. First step, let's pop the hood. Once you have the hood up, first thing you're gonna do is take your grill off. How you do that? Pop out these two 10 millimeter bolts and we're lucky everything on here is a 10 millimeter, just about. And you'll also take these two clips out. When you go to take the clips out, you can buy one of those really cool clip removal tools, a little flathead for me personally works just as well. Once you take all those off, theoretically, it's as easy as a little pull and snap. Pops right off. All right. Once you have your grill off, next thing you're going to do is release this part. To do that, you're gonna look right here in the fender well. You're gonna find this screw, this screw, which is also a 10 millimeter, and then there's a few more to go back along the way. I've always been able to do it with just taking these two off. After you get those off, you're gonna come under the vehicle. There's gonna be a couple more, one right here, and then another one right over here. And then there's a couple in the center right there and you're going to complete these tasks on both sides of the truck. Now that you've taken all the bolts off, that little flathead screw looking thing, going to loosen it up, pop it out. It theoretically should come out pretty easy. Once you've removed that, you're gonna grab your fender, give it a little tug. Should free up your bumper right there. Next up, to finish getting the main bumper off, You've got a handful of clips all throughout. You're going to want to knock each and every one of those out. And also pull all the wiring loose for all your lights. And then the easiest way to get to your lights, if you've got really long arms, you can reach down in there and disconnect your headlights and fog lights if you have them. Or what some folks have seen do, they'll pull the fender out like this, reach in there and get them that way. Uh, I'm not that tall. I stood on a step stool and got them from the top. All right, before you go tugging on a bumper to make sure it's free, recheck and make sure you took all those connections out. Make sure you've disconnected your headlights and fog lights if you have them. Then you're just going to yank it off like there's no tomorrow, which sounds way simpler than it really is. Works best for me to start in the sides. Makes a heck of a loud noise. Once again, it gives you a heart attack. Whoop. And then, it'll just about fall off in this way. It's literally nothing. All right, next thing you're gonna need is a 14 millimeter socket. Be careful taking your bumper off or you'll end up banging your finger up like I did. I recommend to wear gloves even though I don't do it. But we're going to take off one, two, and one inside bolt on this main piece. Oops, I must have missed a clip somewhere along the line. Bam, there we go. And once you take this off, you're actually not going to be putting it back on. The winch mount is going to take up all of that space. Now we take our Big Slack Off-Road Generation 3 Toyota Tacoma Hidden Winch Mount. Lay it right up on the frame. And you're going to use those existing bolts and set it right up on those. I recommend sooner than later running some nuts up on here. It just helps hold it in place for the next steps, but don't tighten them down just yet. Up next, we're going to put the right bolts in the right holes. You will see with some winch mounts, this is all they mount to. That wasn't enough for us. So we added a few more things in here. We've got a grade eight bolt. It's gonna go all the way through and come out the back.
But once you have that bolt in, same thing. Don't tighten it up yet. Now you're going to go with your next bolt. And there's a little hole right up under here. It's going to feed all the way through like that. Washer and nut on the back. All right, once you have those bolts on both sides, including the ones in the bottom down here, then you have two more bolts to go. It'll go here and here through the frame and through the winch mount. Now time to make sure we like the alignment. It should all be set since the bolts are in place and we're gonna tighten everything up. All right, the winch plate is mounted and I put the bumper back on. It's just clipped in place, but I've ensured that everything that holds it on lines up. I want to know where it belongs. The winch is not in it. You'll notice I've got it crammed underneath. I had everything test fitted. Now I'm going to reach inside and the roller fair lead is right about here. But I want to cut this and not have a hole that's just wrong. So what I can do is take my fancy Sharpie marker here. And I can draw an outline. And we're going to circle it like 20 times to make sure I've got it right. And then I can do the same in the roller fairly mount holes. Takes a little bit of feeling around to get it. You're going to mark your fingers all up. There we go. So now I've drawn on the inside of the bumper where I need to uh, cut it to put the fair lead on. All right, so I cut it out and I stuck the bumper back on to see if I did a good job. That hole lines up. That hole lines up. That's where I marked my thumb, apparently. I can feel the metal for the winch mount right there with a little bit of a gap between it and the plastic, just as planned. And I can mount my fair lead here, and now I can complete my hidden winch mount with my truck still looking pretty close to the way it came. I somehow deleted a step here. After you put the roller fair lead on and in place, you then draw around it on the bumper to give yourself one more cut line. Once you have that cut line in place, you can cut it out and the roller fair lead will fit snugly up against the winch mount itself and not sandwich the plastic bumper. It's time to pick out what winch you're going to put on it. For me, I'm using the Badland Apex 12,000 pound. Depending on your winch, and on this one because of the size of it, the top part can't quite fit on it in its current position. So I have disconnected it and relocated it here. You can get that plate option, which uses some existing bolt mounts to hold it in place. That way you've still got everything you need and the winch right where it belongs. Once you have your winch mounted and wired, all you have to do is slap the truck back together. It's actually incredibly easy to do. I'll give Toyota a lot of props for this. It's not a complicated reinstallation. Do keep in mind that the truck that we did this video on is a little bit modified over stock. It has the big slack off-road full belly skid plates on it. It also has a Pro Comp five and a half inch lift kit. So there may be a couple pieces like stock skid plates and such that you have that were not featured in this video. So you might see some minor fluctuations between your experience and ours. Thank you for watching Big Slack Off-Road's installation video of our hidden winch mount for our Gen 3 Toyota Tacoma. Please like and subscribe for more. Okay, there's a few easy steps to installing a Big Slack Off-Road hidden winch mount for your Gen 3 Toyota Tacoma. Step one, get Tacoma. Step two, take all this stuff off. Step three, put winch mount on. Step four, put back on. Step five, done. Enjoy. Big slack, making the parts you want. Big slack.